All right, so I'm going to continue from where I left off. I believe it's episode six, not episode level thirteen. Superposition, right? All these are done. Captain Bailey, the robots and I are still analyzing the energy blast. All we know so far is that it's definitely not from a natural phenomenon. I wonder where it came from. So superposition. See these four tiles here, these darker gray ones, can't place anything on them. So... I have to put this here with a delay of like, what is it, four seconds? So he's gonna go, he's gonna bounce, come back, get forced into there. And when he gets forced into there, it's gonna go this way, back out. And he's gonna have to hit that. And that guy will need a time of like, I don't know, eight seconds? Let's see. Oh, that's going to be too tight. Darn. So, 10 seconds. Hit play and fast forward. Perfect. Okay, so on to storage. I'm still confused by the structures on these asteroids. I thought this system was supposed to be uninhabited. So we got four pylons, <clears throat> four pylons, storage. So the interesting thing about this level is right away, these guys are not going to be able to escape their compartments unless a, uh, a cone's placed inside. So it's easy in that sense that the cones only go in here and it's a uh, it's a timing thing. So, if this red guy goes here, then the blue guy can come. So, we'll stick that there. He'll come out, hit that, go there. So, he's going to keep going left. So at some point, I don't know, four seconds. So the same with this guy. Right off the bat, we want him to leave. And then several seconds later, this guy will come out. Twenty-eight robots rescued. Asymmetry. Captain Bailey, I'm going to analyze some of the dirt these robots have been tracking all over the ship. Okay, so asymmetry. Now this one's interesting because right away this guy could just go here. actually understand the point of this because why wouldn't this guy just go straight there this guy go straight there and then this guy will come out but we might want to delay on this one I'll just put five seconds there to remind me because he's probably no he's gonna go straight right there and then this guy so this guy immediately has to go yep 
Maybe there is no timer needed. Unless I'm missing something. Oh. How could I be so... So dumb. He needs to stay in here for like, I don't know, 12 seconds. Thirty-three robots rescued. Okay, so now we're on to race condition. We got four pylons. Sample analysis shows natural soil and sand, but the metals are a strange alloy. Mm -hmm. Okay. See, if you put a cone there, I'm pretty sure a robot can't drive on that. So we need red to be here, which tells me this guy should go there immediately. Okay, yeah, race condition. So he's going to go straight there. This guy will be coming along. He'll go. So the time he gets back here, we need this guy to immediately go there. Just put six seconds, maybe. Then he'll go. And then... This guy goes there. So I believe that's it. Okay, so he goes down. Yeah, because otherwise he would have went left if that guy wasn't there. Perfect. 38 robots rescued. Twin ion engine. Captain Bailey asked. Uh, <clears throat> some of the uh, robots coming back seem really happy. Okay, so four pylons, twin ion. So right off the bat, if I stick that there, he's gonna go left, he's gonna go right. What happens? Whoop. Okay. Ah, I did not notice that. Okay, so he's going to go. We need a timer of, like, was that five? I'll do six to be safe. So all things being equal. Uh, this guy's going to go... At about four seconds. He's going to hit that and he's going to go right. So then we want like 12 seconds maybe. So this pylon is not doing me any favors. Try no delay. So that's got to be more like nine seconds. Perfect. That, one, that one's a little trickier, but so. 
Entanglement. When I was in college, I took a course in robotic engineering. It's so weird to think of my friends as ones and zeros. So we got one drum. And so what's going to happen here? So blue has to enter first so he can come out there. So this guy's going to be going like that. This guy's going to come. I feel like that's like a four second. Maybe dial that back a bit. So that's not what I want. Um, uh, what is that? Five seconds? Forty-four robots rescued. So we're on a new page. Three-point turn. The robots here have made a breakthrough. Analyzing the energy blast turns out it's some kind of binary coded signal. Heavily encrypted. Okay, so they give us two pylons. What happens when I hit this block? Okay, so it just does you a one turn. So if I stick that there, he'll come back. Like that? Okay, so this is just teaching you a, a mechanic, I guess. Oh, it's weird. They introduce it and they don't really show you it again. Oh, right there. Okay. Do you know what's inside all these barrels? I hope it's nothing important. It's probably nuclear waste. So 13 pi uh, drums or barrels, whatever they call it. But this time these barrels are the same height as the block. It's not a half block. Whoops. Okay, so go along, go along, hit that, turn right. Hit this, turn right. Hit this, turn. Well, it seems like the levels are getting a little easier again. Infinite loop. Okay, I remember this one being a little tricky. I saw a shooting star, make a wish. I always favor going for the blue guys first, um, for no reason other than I do. So if I stick a pile on there, he's going to go and he's going to land there, no problem. And by the same token, if I stick one here, he's going to go and hit there, no problem. However... This guy will get forced to go left, and then he'll go right. Uh, I'm missing something. There's no way it's that easy. Aha, I looked at it wrong. What happened? Oh, they collide. Aha. So let's get rid of those. So he'll be parked. And red's going to come along. Mm -hmm. What about this guy? If he comes along... He'll go in here, 
And if we got this guy parked already, we can do... The problem is if we put red here, he'll go there, but then he'll go this way. I don't really want that. What if we did it the other way? So blue's coming along, and then he wants to go left. So then you block him, but then he'll go left this way. Mm -hmm. Tricky, tricky. Okay, so we definitely need at least a pile on to get them to come into the center. And then once they're in the center, blue goes in. Right? This is one of the ones I think you just have to try things. clicked oh that's interesting mm -hmm. I remember it being something about pylons we're given six pylons Something about pylons, there being two in here. Because you get a blue guy in. Oops. Get a blue guy in. And then you say. You say, nope. I mean, is that going to force him? So, do you just do the opposite here? I'm all turned around. What did I do? Hmm. Well, that works, but I feel like I had a different solution last time I did this puzzle. Okay, so... We're on layers now. It's great to see this ship bustling with activity. So we got four pylons and we're doing a layers thing. So right off the bat, it looks like this blue guy has to stay up top. So this blue guy is going to have to be a uh, stepping stone. So I believe that means red has to get out. He's going to go there. And then a few seconds later. Um, I guess a six second head start. He can come out. And then. I don't know. Eight seconds later, you can come out. You've got to leave before anybody. So you should come out about, I don't know, 10 seconds? Maybe eight. Whoops. Let's see where this gets us. Uh oh. So that was pretty tight, but it looks like it's going to work, unless there's a leg. I don't know. Not bad. 54 robots rescued. Two more. Multiple choice. Remember when people thought we ought to? Find, we ought to thought we'd find aliens out here in space? I wonder if we ever will. Okay, so we got two pylons, and we got a lot of potential spots for the blue guys to 
to dock, to park. We've got to strategically place the blue guys in a spot to make the red guys So if this guy goes all the way through, he's going to go straight through, and he's going to come up this side. And if we put a pile on here, Okay, so if this guy comes straight out and there's a blue guy here, he's going to go right, but then when he comes back, he's going to land. So that tells me the blue guy has to go here. So he'll park there. So by that same token, if everything's mirrored... Right, or am I looking at that wrong? Nice, 58. Okay, so round the twist. You're almost done rescuing the robots. We'll have to go deeper into the asteroid field to find the rest. Okay, so four pylons, we got a, a little 90 degree spinny thing, and we got, looks like a nuclear waste. Judging by that barrel, it's definitely nuclear waste so it looks like if this guy drives out he's gonna go right to that isn't he okay good now do we want that though it seems like that's too easy because this guy's gonna come He's going to hit that, and then he's going to go right, then he's going to go What happens? Oops. There's no way that's going to work, is it? Ah. I forgot about the falling platforms. So let's think about that again. It's like we want the blue guy to go left, left, and then in. There's got to be delay on here of two seconds to get through. And then he's going to go... Oh, it's got to be two, four, six, eight. Let's try eight seconds. Oh, I don't think this is going to work. I don't even know what I'm trying to do. So he gets through. It's got to be eight seconds. Okay. So... Now, is that going to work? Ah. 60 robots rescued. We're on a new page. So how many pages was that? Episode 1 was these 12. And episode 2, the current episode, is... So it's another 12. So I guess I'll uh, squeeze these into episode 3.